you're not involved and you're doing something wrong. You gotta stay motivated every day on this journey, bruh. And this thing that we call life, every day God gives us an opportunity to improve on ourselves. And what you have to continue to realize is that you can watch all the motivational videos in the world, you can watch all the self-help videos in the world, whatever. But at the end of the day, bro, you have to be willing to do the work and you have to be willing to stay consistent. Now, I get it, bro. In this human experience, it's easy for us to give up on something just because we haven't, it hasn't happened yet. It's easy for a person to quit on themselves because they didn't ever believe in themselves in the first place. And that power of, of believing in yourself is highly, highly important. You know what I'm saying? That power of getting to know yourself on a higher level, whether it's on your semen retention journey, whether it's you really breaking that PMO addiction and getting to learn yourself. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's you investing into the stock market and you learning how to become more financially literate. It is highly, highly important for us to stay in tune with our energy. You ain't gonna believe this, but you used to fit right here. I'd hold you up and say to your mother, this kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. And you grew up good and wonderful. It was great just watching every day it was like a privilege. Then the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world, and you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm always going to love you no matter what. No matter what happens. You're my son. You're my blood. You're the best thing in my life. But until you start believing in yourself, you ain't gonna have a life. No, with that strong belief system, because the energy that you put out into this world, it will come back to you. You know what I'm saying? And when I look at the world around me, I see, I see myself in a lot of people, if that makes sense. Because we all connected in some way, shape, or form. We're all spiritual beings having a human experience, right? So, what I mean by I see myself in a lot of people, it's like I be wanting to walk up to people and just like try to give them some encouraging words, you know, try to give them some words of wisdom. Because for myself, I be needing that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I honestly give it to myself, you know, and I honestly talk to God every single day. You feel me? And I don't want us to live this life just wasting our potential or just feeling like, what if? What if I would have took the risk and, and I would have took the chance on myself? You know, what if I would have tried this? You don't want to be a person that says, what if? You feel me? You want to at least do. You know what I'm saying? You want to at least put in the work. 
and the results will come. You feel me? Now I say all that to say, the real thing that's gonna help you out in life and potentially save you in life is you learning how to be a disciplined individual. All right? You learning how to believe right, in yourself, know yourself, and just put in the work. Because, like I said, ain't nobody coming to save you, right? Ain't nobody about to pop out the sky, come save you. Ain't nobody about to do the work for you. When you in the gym, ain't nobody about to put in the work for you. You know what I'm saying? When you when you in the stock market, ain't nobody about to study them charts with you. When you out here in the real world, in the real world, ain't nobody about to care, bruh. That's, bro, that's one thing that I truly had to learn, bruh, as a man. Ain't nobody gonna give a fuck about you, bro. And I'm not saying that in a negative sense. I'm saying that in a way where it's like, you gotta learn how to care about you. You gotta learn how to put your goals first and Believe in them, even when nobody believes in them, bro. You could tell somebody right now, yo, I wanna, I wanna crack a hundred thousand in the stock market. People might laugh. I wanna, I wanna hit a hundred thousand on YouTube. People might laugh. They might, they might think, yo, you crazy. You ain't, you're not about to do it. That's because they don't believe in themselves. You feel me? I'ma create one of the biggest SR channels on YouTube. A person might not even care. But at the end of the day, as long as you got that belief, nothing can stop you. Real talk. You know? And that's the that's the beautiful thing about life. Two seconds. That's the that's the beauty about life. Is that as long as you believe it and as long as you put in the work, what people say and how they feel, it, it never mattered in the first place. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes we tend to take the opinions of other people and we'll validate those opinions over our own opinions. And I get it. Listen, man. Like for myself, I be asking, I be asking, like, yo, what what should I like I ask out on the YouTube channel, what do y'all feel like I need to work on? You know? Um, what videos would y'all like for me to make? You know, things like that. But at the end of the day, I have to Regardless of what other people say, I have to have that strong internal belief, that strong drive, that strong hunger to want to to want to critique myself, to want to get better, right? And uh, stay resilient. You feel me? I, I like I, I I love telling y'all this, bro. Like I've been against the odds since I was a baby. I was born premature, bro. That's my life story. One pound, nine ounces, six months. You know what I'm saying? That's my life story. Bro, I swear, universe had me in alignment at all times, bro. We gonna speak this into existence, real talk. But that's my life story. And, and God had me on the planet early. Like, listen, man, you made an early arrival. And, and the doctors gave me a 30% chance of survival. But guess what? I'm here, right? So, what if, what if the doctors would have been correct? Nah, I wasn't letting that happen. Even though I was a baby, right? I still was a fighter. So, when when I when I focus on my my uh, goals that I have set out for myself, I ain't gonna front, bro. Like I learned to like, yeah, put them out into the world, but I also learned to just keep them to myself. Because it's easy for somebody to manipulate your mind. Well, it's not that easy when you learn how to become mentally stronger. But it's easy for somebody to tell you, oh, it's not possible, blah, 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 whatever. And then you believe it. Anything is possible, bro. I'm here to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Anything is possible. Like I told y'all, it's, it's about taking back your power. It's about staying resilient. It's about knowing your why, bro. Like, why do you want to... Why do you do what you want to do? Like, why do you... Why do you have the goal for yourself? Do you feel like it's going to make you feel better? You feel me? Because at the end of the day, feelings are fleeting. Right? You can feel good one moment. You can feel sad. You can feel bad. Whatever. But 
like I said, the discipline, the belief, the the mindset, that's everything. And I'm not about to walk on this on this planet and act like, oh, my life is peaches and cream and everything is just perfect. No, bruh. Every day is a fresh new day in my human experience where it's like, T, gotta get better. T, we gotta keep on improving. We gotta stay consistent. We gotta stay hungry because the work that I'm doing now is gonna help me continuously create that brighter future for myself. What we do in the now creates the future. You feel me? So every day that you retain your seed, you're creating a higher version of yourself for the future, which is always in the now. You know what I'm saying? But you're creating a, a higher vibrational being within. Every day that you buy a stock, whether it's a fractional share, a full share, you're teaching yourself how to become more financially astute. People would rather live in fear rather than raise their vibration and frequency and live in abundance. Y'all gotta let that sink in. And like I said, the reason why, like I tell y'all, the reason why people live in fear is because they're programmed. We all, bro, we all been programmed by somebody outside of us, bro. You just gotta learn how to admit that to yourself. And you have to be aware of it. You know? Like I said, man, one of the things that's gonna save you is discipline. Putting in the work, keeping that hunger, hunger, keeping that drive, keeping that fire lit within, and not giving a fuck about what people say or how they feel about you, because it don't matter. Word, it don't matter, bruh. That's about how how do you feel about yourself? Do you love yourself unconditionally? Do you appreciate yourself? As long as you do, then you be alright. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this video inspires somebody out there in the world. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Give today's video a thumbs up so that we get on a YouTube algorithm. Leave your comments below. Free Telegram chat, free Discord chat will be pinned in the comment section. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for rocking out with me. It's your boy Terrence Carter. TC Talk, TC Fitness. Yes.